Good morning, everybody. This is Dabalina from DigiTouch. Today we have Rosa Maria Martinez from Spain. Welcome to the session, Rosa. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, uh, Dabalina. It's a pleasure to, to meet you and to meet uh, all the audience through this uh, channel. Um, this is Rosa Maria Martinez Espinosa from UA, which means University of Alicante in Spain. Great, thank you very much. It's our pleasure too. Uh, okay, Rosa, can you please tell me more about UA, your research areas, for example? Yes, for sure. The University of Alicante is a quite young in university in Spain. It's around 40 years old, and it is located in the southeast of Spain, close to the Mediterranean seaside in a beautiful place. Wow. And I'm full professor of uh, biochemistry and molecular biology. My main field of knowledge is the metabolism of uh, uh, microorganisms living in extreme environments. And I'm working in that field around 25 years, just looking for molecules or metabolites that maybe can be used in some uh, biotechnological industries. This is our main field of knowledge. Um, and apart from this, we are also collaborating with some hospitals looking for molecules uh, with potential uses uh, to develop uh, kits for quick tests uh, related to COVID now and okay. related to other um, uh, diseases like cancer. So this is more or less the, the overall view about what we are doing now. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, let's talk about APET now. So we both are partners in APET. And uh, so what is your role in APET? Okay, so our, my main role is, uh, is uh, to be involved in one of the work packages, uh, number four, in fact. In this work package, we are going to use a few microorganisms able to produce natural uh, and biodegradable plastics. So these are microorganisms living in salter farms close to the university. So just by modifying a little bit the culture media, these microbes are able to produce PHPB, which is uh, one of the biopolymers uh, focusing attention worldwide because they could replace uh, chemical plastic. So my main role in, in the project is to lead this package in, in which uh, we, we are going to upscale the production of this microbe to, to use it as cell, cell factory to get the bioplastic. And apart from this uh, role, I'm also very well coordinated with the other colleagues, with the other partners to promote dissemination and all of these uh, uh, multidisciplinary activities to, to, uh, to put into context the, the project and to be in contact with the society to, to share our, our results and our final products. Definitely. I mean, one part is research and another part is creating the awareness. That's that's important. Okay. okay. Because if you people are not aware, there is no point of exactly. having research, and the success of the project absolutely depends on that. Okay, so that's very interesting. So can you elaborate more with your activities, like what you will be doing throughout the project? Maybe not in details, but some of them, if you can give examples. Yes, yeah, for sure. So our first to aim um, will be the use of uh, bacteria able to grow with uh, tiraphthalic acid, which is a residue obtained during the production of chemical plastic. So the idea is to get a huge amount of cells of this bacteria, and this bacteria will be used later on as a nutrient for the microbes we use to get the natural bioplastic. So it's like a two-step process in which first we grow a bacteria using a residue from the industry involving um, chemical plastic. Then in a second step, this bacteria is used as a nutrient 
to get the other microbe able to produce the plastic. So this is uh, the, the first aim, right? To upscale these two process, uh, uh, these two step process to get the bioplastic. And in the second part of the project, we will be involved in, um, in a study to isolate the bioplastic from the microbe using environmental friendly approaches. Because usually these uh, bioplastics are isolated using organic solvents, which are not environmental friendly. And in fact, they are um, quite expensive. So the idea is to replace the, the standard process using organic solvents by other processes in which we remove the organic solvents in order to avoid environmental damage and in order to get cheaper uh, process. So this is in general uh, our, our aims during the whole project. And we are going to do some of the activities in collaboration with one of the partners, uh, which is uh, CTEC. In fact, is the, the partner coordinating the, the, the project. This is, this is, in fact, uh, like a coordinated work between the University of Alicante and CTEC. Okay, fascinating. Great. Thank you very much, Rosa, for sharing all the project details. And I'm sure APET will be great success for both of us and we can move towards a circular economy. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Nervalina. <laughs>